Hi kids, let's start with our mantra. I make messes, I make mistakes, but deep inside, I have what it takes. I am an artist, and you are. So today I'm gonna to show you one way that you can draw a rose. Hi kids, so today for your level four drawing, we're gonna learn how to draw a rose. Um, for this one, we're going to need an eraser and a pencil and something dark to trace with. I use this guy. You also might hear in the background um, my computer going. I'm, I'm walking through a, a, a site, a training for teachers, and I'm trying to multitask. Okay, so let's get started on this rose. Um, on the rose, I'm going to go really slow in this top part because the way we do these twists, really adds to the authenticity of the way the rose looks. And we are gonna have to erase a few witness marks. So let's start as usual by tracing our, or <laughs> uh, folding our paper into quadrants. That's not quite as important on this, but we just like to keep that, that good habit up. Oh, hold on, let me answer this question on this quiz. Should the bus driver, is Ricky? Yes, okay. so. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw an oval. My pencil's really dull, so it might, yeah, anyway, it'll be fine. Dull pencil is still right. So we're gonna make an oval on the top, this is behavior because it an oval on top, and then we're gonna draw two lines that start at this top part of the oval and curve in. They curve in the opposite way. So they're like, whoop, whoop. And then we're gonna draw a bell shape here at the bottom, the base of the rose. And we still wanna kind of bring, how do I describe this? Bring that line, I'm gonna do the dots. We're gonna bring that line out. And then out and in. So it kind of makes like a belly. Okay, next we're gonna add the petals and here we're gonna end up erasing almost this whole side of this rose. So we're gonna start here at the, at the midline of our fold and we're gonna go up the fold with a curve. So we're going up the fold with a curve and then we're gonna come out with the opposite curve. So it looks like a hook. Then we're gonna round the tip of that and we're gonna bring the petal down outside that bell shape and then up to meet it. So we start here, we curve up to the center, the midline, then we curve out and over. I might make that a little longer. And then we bring that back down and up. Now I'm gonna go in and erase these witness marks with this crummy old eraser. I found this pencil in my grandma's drawer after she passed away. It has a face carved into the side of it. The face of, oh, it has a year on it. Hold on, let's see. It says, Roland Willie, 19, does that say 89 or 59? Can't tell, 1989. Either way, this is a really old pencil. I kind of don't want to use the whole eraser up and I might. The things that we choose to keep. <laughs> Okay, so I've erased that witness mark. You know what, hold tight guys, I'm gonna get another eraser. I don't want to, I don't wanna wreck that pencil. I didn't realize it was so old. Here, I'll use one of Amy's little pencils. Sorry, now I'm wasting your guys' time because of my affection for art supplies and keeping old ones. Okay, all right, so we have our rose shape and this petal. Next. We're gonna draw this back petal, that one's easy. It just comes up, it's almost like a penguin's wing, and then comes down. Easy peasy. Okay, so next we're gonna work on the middle part of the rose. We're gonna make a line here that hooks around, it's like part of a spiral. To make that look three-dimensional, we're gonna put a line here and a line here. Then we're gonna come right here, and this is what's gonna make it look like the petals on the front of the rose are folding around. We're just gonna make a curved line that comes like this, and then we will erase this with this mark. 
So now it looks like our rose is a full spiral, kind of spiral organic shape. Next, we're gonna add these little toenail looking things down here. And you can add as many or as few of these as you want. I know lots of roses have lots of those. Then we're gonna make this kind of bell, another bell shape here. And then we'll swoop down for the stem. Okay, and then we will add a couple of leaves or a thousand leaves, that's your creative choice. Actually, don't add a thousand, you guys have schoolwork to do. I'll take you forever. <laughs> and we'll add that midline. Most leaves have a midline in them and that's when they're rolled up into the plant where they open, that, that midline is kind of where they grow from. Um, then we're going to add the thorns. Okay, from there you're gonna trace. Uh, my Sharpie's dead, so I'm gonna shape, uh, trace with uh, three and one woodies. Um, we're going to trace our rows because tracing our drawings makes them look stronger. Remember, we draw light till we know it's right. Then we go darker or trace with marker. You guys are gonna get tired of hearing me say all these things over and over. Whoa, what's going on there, Katie? All right. And we don't worry about mistakes. Like I just really messed that up, but that's okay. Mistakes are proof that you're trying. I don't ever worry about my mistakes. You'll learn more from walking through mistakes than you will from doing everything perfect the first time. Nobody learns that way. And I mean nobody. Okay, so we're just gonna trace your lines. And then you know what comes next, color it up. Good job guys, there's your rose.